Hello, welcome to this virtual greeting, and I'm doing this on behalf of the Department of Statistics. My name is Dr. Mark Fridline. I'm the Associate Chair of this department. And I am very excited to introduce not only my department, but also the field of statistics, data science, and actuarial science. So the Department of Statistics here at the University of Akron, we have lots of experienced faculty. We all have PhDs or master's degrees. All our professors have real world experience. I was a statistician for many years before I got my doctorate. Uh, so I know exactly the types of skills that are necessary to be effective statisticians, data science, or even actuarial science uh, career path oriented uh, students. So not, and it's not just me, it's about all our faculty. Um, we have lots of opportunities for jobs after graduation, which I'll share la later. Um, and we also have lots and lots of internship opportunities. And then finally, we have a depart our, our Center of Statistical Consulting. We have a very experienced, tenured faculty that runs a consulting center with clients that are doing actual live research. And what we do as a department is connect our students with these real life projects to give them real life experiential learning opportunities while doing statistics. And it's just hands-on training. So our, our goal is to tremendously prepare our students so when they graduate, they are ready to work. They are ready to make a difference. In fact, we are growing, uh, developing a great reputation uh, that the University of Akron here in the Department of Statistics, for, that our students are coming out of here with great, great skills. I get lots of emails and calls about um, uh, companies that are looking for positions uh, that they're trying to fill. And I'll be frank, we cannot graduate enough stat majors. We have a 100% job placement. So uh, let's just talk a little bit more some of the details. So some of our uh, graduates, uh, and this is just a snippet of some of the areas they go into um, uh, in terms of internships and jobs. Uh, progressive is a big one, lots of banking. Uh, Smuckers is a big area. Uh, so you can kind of see some of the area companies uh, that we that we specialize in. So yes, of course, we, we do want to grow uh, Northeast Ohio with our skills uh, for area companies uh, throughout that area. However, you could almost work anywhere in the world if you really wanted to. And again, like I mentioned before, uh, the job placement rate is nearly 100%. So if you like math or if you like statistics and you want to start thinking about areas of statistics, uh, the University of Akron is a great place to start. In fact, in our department, we have, uh, to get a Bachelor of Science in Statistics, uh, you actually have three options you can choose. You can actually just do straight statistics, which I'll talk in detail here shortly, or uh, data science, which is a growing field. And then, of course, actuarial science is a field uh, that is uh, thriving and growing. So let's talk a little bit about those. Uh, but before I do, if you're interested in be becoming any of those stats, data science, actuary, um, these careers, that you, what you're going to do, you're going to use some mathematical and computer skills to you know, work with data, manipulate, explore, visualize, uh, analyze, model, but most importantly, interpret and present those results to not only statisticians, but, uh, but statisticians alike. Um, so when I was a stat person, one of my favorite things to do was interacting with others, uh, taking uh, the results that I have and presenting them uh, in a way that anyone can understand. So stats, data scientists, actuarial people, we are in the industry to help people understand what's the underlying cause, help make informed decisions, and of course we're uh, one, of the, one of the powerful areas are dealing with predicting future outcomes. And again, I, this is the message I'm, uh, that I'm discussing throughout uh, lots of jobs, excellent job outlook. So let's get into a little details here. So if you are interested in straight statistics um, or data science or actual science, this is our core curriculum. So there is a calculus series, computer science, and then these are the general stat classes uh, that you're going to be taking. Applied statistics gets you starting in statistics, which most of you probably have had some type of statistics uh, in, your, in your background. 
uh, apply stats is a calculus-based statistics. And then we get into more specific stuff, regression, ANOVA, statistical data management. That's where you start learning some of the, the key software packages to start manipulating, massaging, managing data, and then doing some statistics. Then we have some, of course, we have a theoretical sequence, one and two, and then statistical consulting, which feathers in with the director of our consulting center. Uh, uh, that is our Center for Statistical Consulting, uh, and it's an actual course, and that's where you're going to pick up some experiential learning courses within the University of Akron. So like I mentioned earlier, let's get into some details for just straight statistics. Um, obviously the core is what you, those are necessary, but on top of the core you have to take three additional statistic courses uh, for nine credit hours. So we have lots of courses, and this is just a a, a small section of it, like machine learning is a hot topic, decision trees is a, a very popular class, multivariate. Uh, we do have some biostatistical courses, time series, survival, Bayesian statistics. So those are just some examples you can take. Uh, if you're interested in data science, basically we want you to get uh, even more uh, computer skills and even more statistic courses. And these are the uh, additional courses that you would uh, be taking. So time series, some bioinformatics, some data management for information systems, some, some more computing courses, and then again, there's some additional uh, electives you should take. And then finally, the actuarial science track. So of course, actuarial science is about risk um, and statistics. That's why uh, what's nice about this program is that it is housed in a statistics department because actual science, if, you've been, if you have any knowledge of that field, it is becoming less and less about math and more and more about statistics. So that is a definite advantage about our program because it is a heavy stat program. Yes, there's some math, but also we don't, don't forget about some of the business courses. So we have specific uh, actual science course, intro to actual science, and then actual science, uh, actual models, uh, time series, some an economics course. These are some business classes you're going to take, finance, accounting, um, some risk, and investments class. So those are some additional things you have to take within the actual science track above and beyond uh, the um, uh, statistics core. Now, regardless what track you are interested in, stats, data science, or actual science, all of these tracks to graduate you need 120 credit hours. So of course, for these tracks that require more stat classes, you have less free electives that you can take. Um, so, it, but, but regardless of what track, it is only 120 credit hours. And then also, I'm very excited uh, to mention that we are launching a new five-year BSMS program in the fall. So uh, what's really nice about this program is that you can walk out of here in five years, not just with a bachelor's degree, but you can significantly increase your market value uh, by getting a master's degree. And I'm not saying a bachelor's is not going to give you a good job. It is. But a master's degree is definitely going to help. Now, the way uh, now I, I just quickly presented the old, uh, like if you just straight got a bachelor's and master's, a bachelor's degree is 120 hours, a master's degree is 100, or excuse me, 30 hours. So uh, the non-five-year BSMS, you would need 150 credit hours. Now, for the five-year BSMS program, what's nice is that during your senior year, now I'm not going to get go into all the details here, but uh, just to cut to the chase here, during your senior year, you can take nine hours that you can actually double count. Those nine hours could be uh, uh, applied to both your undergraduate program and your future graduate program. Uh, so, uh, so those nine hours, what's nice, they're, they're gonna be counted towards your undergrad program. In fact, after your fourth, fourth year, you will have a bachelor's degree. Some five-year programs, you simultaneously get a bachelor's and master's degree at the end of the five years. That's not the case here. At the end of the fourth year, you will have a bachelor's degree. And then during your fifth year, you just need to finish up those additional 21 hours. Remember, it was 30 hours, but because you already taken nine hours during your undergrad program, you only need 21 hours to complete your master's degree. So because of this ability to double count these nine hours, you really only need 141 credit hours to earn both your bachelor's and your master's degree. And again, you could do that within five years. 
So um, I'm a statistician. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, information that you can see out on the web about just how wonderful uh, this degree can be. And by the way, I loosely said statistician. This, of course, applies to actual science and data science. Um, what I'm trying to show you here in this slide, uh, according to the U.S. News and World Report rankings uh, back in 2017, uh, U.S. News and World Reports ranked all the jobs out there. And what they did, they looked at salary, job placement, upward mobility, flexibility, uh, high quality of life, uh, work-life balance, uh, things like that. And when they ranked all the jobs, statistician was ranked four of all of them. That was in 2017. So the STEM jobs, the science, technology, engineering, math jobs, statistician was one. Business jobs, statistician was one. In fact, U.S. News and World Reports gave 2017, they mentioned it was the year of the statistician because of their high, high rankings. More good news about statisticians. Uh, overall had a six ranking, STEM, six business. In fact, all four years that I'm looking at, business was the number, statistician was the number one rated job for all the positions in the business area. Still good. So it's still good news for statisticians. 2019, still ranked, uh, in fact, it was ranked the number two best job overall. Number two STEM, and again, number one. And then finally, 2020, which is a new decade, uh, you can see those rankings were still high. They were, were top. And if you want to look more specifically about data science, I know Forbes does some rankings, uh, and then Money Magazine does a lot of stuff with actual science. But regardless, uh, I mean, the rankings here are incidental. The message is clear, though. Uh, you get a job in any of our options within the Department of Statistics, you're going to get a good job. It's high paying, good flexibility, it's everything. Uh, uh, that you want. Uh, and then finally, before I talk about what's next, I just want to quickly mention, uh, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, for the next decade, the Bureau of Labor anticipates a 34% increase or growth rate for our fields. So to give you a kind of a benchmark, if, they, if you were to look at the, the general growth rate uh, for all occupations, it's about 7%. So statisticians, data science, actually, that rate is five times. According, this is according to the Bureau of Labor. So what's next? So in high school, what should you be doing? So take some statistics, math, science, if you have some computer science classes. I say English because it's still, English is still important. You have to be able to communicate, not only verbally, but in a written word. Uh, so... Obviously, a lot, of, a lot of high schools, most high schools actually have an AP stats class. Or if they don't, um, you could always take, a lot of high schools have dual enrolled where you can take a college level um, uh, stats class here at the University of Akron or other, or other universities, and you can count towards your undergrad, or I'm sorry, your, your high school degree. Um, or there's obviously opportunities you can come to college campuses and take take classes. So um, you, for stats, you do need mathematics to understand some of the theory, but um, theor theoretical stats is important, but that's not really our, mess our mission here. We are, our mission is to develop applied statisticians. Our mission is to give you the skills and the abilities to do real-world problems, real-world predictive uh, uh, modeling uh, skills, so you can do things when you graduate. Um, so scientific knowledge will help you understand the subject matter and technical background problems as well as to be an effective problem solver. Uh, and you will use computer not only for calculations but obviously doing some visualization. Um, and again, written and spoken English, and that doesn't apply just to uh, statistics, that applies to um, um, you know, any field uh, if you're going to get a college. Uh, degree. So those are just some, I, uh, some of my humble suggestions on what to do next if you're still in high school. So I, again, this is just a very general um, introduction to the Department of Statistics here at the University of Akron. Um, hopefully you've created some uh, questions and if you have, you can, you can actually you can contact me. Again, my name is Dr. Fridline. There's my email address. 
Uh, you can hit. You can talk to me about statistics or data science questions. We actually have an undergraduate advisor. If you want to talk to an advisor, his name's Dr. Rich Einsport. I can put you in contact with him. Uh, we have an actual science coordinator. His name is Dr. Namamoto. Uh, he's actually tweaked our program uh, to not only make it uh, more pertinent to the actual science field, but also to get the students ready for those actuarial science programs. And then, of course, he does a good job on getting our students' internships. And he actually has a web page if you want to look at some of that information. So again, do not hesitate to contact me or Dr. Momoto about any questions regarding our program. Okay, well that finishes up my presentation. However, I'm not done. If you have another three minutes, I would like to show you three different students of mine. Uh, I have three separate one minute video. These are student spotlights. These are actual live students. Um, two of them have graduated. Actually, all three of them graduated. Two of them, uh, one is a stat major, one's a data science major, um, and one is, if you're interested in the master's program, I also have a um, master's student student spotlight. So I'd like to just share those to you now. I've always been numbers. And that's all stats is. I'm Bo Barrel. I'm a stats major. I'm in my third year. Originally, I wanted to be an engineer. But when I took AP stats back in high school, I um, just kind of fell in love with it. How I came to love it, I really don't know. It's just, just one of those things that's like, wow, it's just really cool. You get a little bit of everything. At first, like I wanted um, to do actuarial science, but then for me, it was like, it's just kind of too focused on one particular field. And I wanted to be open and, and as flexible as possible in doing stats. So you're getting kind of a whole spectrum of things to, to work with with data. I'm going to graduate in the fall, and I plan on pursuing my MBA. After that, hopefully land a decent job at uh, doing some sort of analytics, people in the stats department in a, of a company, people in a business department. And there isn't a whole lot of communication between the two, and so I want to be the guy that's able to kind of be in, in the, the middleman between those two departments and, and saying, okay, this is what the numbers are and this is what we can do with that data. You know, what's going on with this? Can you tell me something about this? And going into it and saying, here's what those numbers mean, and actually being able to explain everything, just kind of really cool to be able to help people in that, in that regard. What's cool about statistics? Everything's cool about statistics. I've had the great opportunity to work with probably 20 um, outside parties to do real statistical work. I have a tattoo of an alpha. Alpha is an important symbol that represents a level of statistical significance in a test. And I thought it was a pretty cool nerdy tattoo. I'm a super nerd. So. I worked mostly with coffee while I was there. The big project that we worked on was developing an application, a software application, to sort of predict different flavor profiles that come out of uh, different roasting conditions. I was not the best student in high school, and I applied on a whim and came to visit with my parents and fell in love with the campus. The second semester, I took my first business statistics course, and it was one class, and I was sold. That was it. Everything since then has, has happened because of Akron and because of the, the amazing people that I've been able to work with here. I am a graduate student here at the University of Akron getting a master's in statistics. My classes have been a lot of applied statistics, so not so much theoretical, so that's really prepared me for actual real-world problems. One of my favorite electives I took was a class called Applied Analytics Decision Trees, and it actually then helped me determine what I want to do my master's research in. So I'm actually doing my master's research in random forests, which is the basis of decision trees. You can apply statistics to any field you want. There's really no limits. One project that we worked on was school with um, students with autism. We got to compare different schools, their student scores, different learning methods, 
I never thought about using statistics to help autistic students teaching methods, but we're able to help them prepare for different ways they're going to use it in their upcoming lesson plans. After my first year of my graduate program, I applied for a data analyst internship at Progressive Insurance. I got it. My first year definitely prepared me for it. I took one class called Statistical Data Management. So that class definitely helped me like excel in my internship. And it went really well. And they actually offered me a job, which I've accepted. So I'll be starting full time then uh, after May when I graduate. All right, that's all I have. I hope this uh, helps with your quest in deciding if statistics is the way to go. Again, if you have any questions, contact me. Take care.